to the Hard Knocks Guitar Shop. My name is Will Kelly, and I'm the monthly repair columnist for Vintage Guitar Magazine, as well as chief bottle washer and uh, duster around here at Hard Knocks Guitars. Today, I want to show you something very special, especially if you're a late 80s, 90s metal hairband fan. This guitar is a very iconic one owned by a gentleman named Tim Kelly, who is the lead guitar player and songwriter for Slaughter. He and Mark Slaughter wrote a bunch of men's mega hits back in the late 80s and 90s, including Flight of the Angels, etc. It was a great band, and Tim was very talented, as well as being a pretty good guy by all accounts. Tragically, in 1998, Tim lost his life in a car wreck in Arizona. This was one of Tim's beloved guitars. He was a big Simpsons fan and uh, got one of the Simpsons animators to actually draw him as a character on this guitar. So we're going to uh, see if we can do some work to this to get it back into playing condition as a tribute to Tim. Uh, I know Mark is going to be happy about this. So here's the problem. Originally the guitar came with a Kaler tremolo system, a locking system, which was asymmetrical in relation to the two mounting posts, which are symmetrically located along the plane of the strings. Floyd Rose components are symmetric. In other words, the base plate is equidistant away from the center line of each pivot post. So we've got a piece of body cavity right here that needs to come out so that the Floyd Rose can fit in without hitting on this edge right here. So what I've done is take a fine line sharpie and mark this line carefully, then scored it with a razor blade along the line to keep the paint from chipping on this side of the cut as I remove all this wood. Then the last thing I did was take a small, very, very sharp chisel, lay it flat on the bottom of the recess cavity, and actually chip and break the paint line right at the bottom of the recess of the cavity. That way the paint won't chip on this side either as I remove just this sliver. So by scoring with a razor blade and then scoring with a chisel on the underside of this, I've isolated the paint that's laying on top of this sliver that we're going to remove so that when it does come off, nothing else comes off except what we want. And then we can fill that in, paint it white, and be done with it. So that's the attack plan. paint's dry. I had to mill out about an eighth of an inch on the lower treble side of the recess cavity that the tremolo sits in on the body. That was because the Floyd Rose upgrade unit from the old Kaler unit is about an eighth of an inch wider at that point. So, along with that modification, I had to mill out a small semicircular portion of the trim cavity here to accommodate the sustain block and its swing during arc of movement. So I uh, had to paint this in, let it dry real well, reinstall some FU tone upgrade Floyd Rose posts instead of the little skinny small original Kaler posts. 
that replaced the inserts as well because they're a different thread count. So uh, ended up being a little bit of work there, but wanted to make sure that you don't chip the paint. So take a razor knife and scribe around the uh, replacement insert before you try to attempt to remove it. And uh, now what we have to do is hang the Floyd Rose. And that's going to be really simple because there's only these two pivot points here. And then that is counterbalanced by these two springs that come off this treble hook claw here. So uh, it's relatively tool free and painless. So let me go ahead and get that going so we can string her up and maybe play a slaughter song or two. strings back on. I did a thorough professional setup on the instrument and man does it play fantastic. Tim would have loved it. This is the prototype of the shredder guitar from the late 80s and early 90s. It's got a thin, flat, fast neck, basic controls, one pickup, one volume control, and a locking tremolo system. Now originally this guitar came with a Kaler system which at the time, which in the late 80s, was sort of the dawn of the locking tremolo system movement. Uh, it was an okay unit. Now, it just doesn't cut the cheese. <laughs> so what we're going to do is uh, we upgraded this with an FU tone Floyd upgrade with a solid brass sustain block. And man, does this sound fantastic. It rings, it sustains, it's got a nice mid-range presence to it. So it doesn't have all the atypical you know, problems with the Kaler, which was a lack of sustain and a dull, lifeless tone. Tim would have loved it. And honestly, I believe if Tim would have been around today, he would have made this upgrade to the guitar just to make the best out of what he had with the already fantastic bones. This neck and body are just killer. And I really believe that Tim would have loved this guitar uh, in its present state. So I'll play you off and as a salute to Tim. <laughs> supported the band and has been there for us because you know without you guys we wouldn't be here